Loops de la Creme specializes in pristine percussion libraries. Let's check out their primes library.
This library fills a lot of gaps left by other percussion collections. The instruments included here are often afterthoughts in other libraries, and aren't treated with the same level of care as they're presented here. This brings me to one of the main draws of this library, the mic selection. This is, in my opinion, the ideal way to present a percussion library. I'll explain why. For each instrument, the spot 1 mic is bone dry, while the spot 2 mic captures the lower mid frequencies of the instrument. A killer combination for spot mics. The binaural signal gives an airy, stereo image that sounds like it's placed in front of you in a studio. The tree signal provides a reflective but controlled sound, while the outriggers provide the bloom and ambience. This is an uncommon offering that provides a genuine dry sound through to a studio sound, then to a scoring stage sound with a decently distant ambience. It's not like this hasn't been done before, but how it's done here is impressive. The reason is because of the tone. The mic choice and editing for these sounds results in a perfectly balanced and precise acoustic tone. The spot 1 mic is crystal clear without being tinny or too proximate. The spot 2 mic is disciplined and doesn't contain any bloat or nasal tone. It captures the lower end of the drums and cymbals perfectly. The binaural position has silky clarity and depth. Meanwhile, the tree and outrigger positions don't have any unnecessary low end weight and retain a clear transient quality. To top it off, the sub signal for the chosen instruments complements the low end beautifully, while the three extra snare signals for the cajon are delightful. If you were looking for your go to cajon library, you may very well have found it here. But what if you want just the cajon or the shaker? Well, that brings us to the price of the library. At full price, this library definitely doesn't give any free rides. You pay for exactly what you get, which is a collection of 20 single libraries. The great thing about the library, though, is that you're not forced to buy the whole thing just to get the instruments you want. Each instrument library can be purchased a la carte. Meanwhile, the Elements version of the library is basically an essentials collection of instruments with limited articulations. Now, I personally feel the library could benefit from a few more round robins for some of the hand drum slaps and accents, but it's hardly a big deal. This is one of those chameleon instrument collections you can put into a dry funk or rock track, a studio session style cue, an orchestral cue without needing reverb for placement, or a heavier cinematic cue where it'll provide an expansive stage sound while still cutting through the mix. For me, this library is a perfect complement to flying hand percussion which is another one of my staple composing libraries. All in all, I really like this library. But that's all for now, so I'll see you in another video.